Hypoadrenia, what is it? Adrenal fatigue. You're born, you've got a fairly decent, healthy set of adrenal glands, and you go through some stress, and they may swell. They're about the size of an almond normally. It's a pretty big almond there. Normally they're about the size of an almond. They're not really big. When they're healthy, they're happy. And then what happens is you go through your first round of stress. Okay, you hit high school, you don't get invited to the prom, you don't get into college, maybe somebody in your family passes away or you lose a sister. And depending on the element of the trauma and how you deal with it, they will swell. We will say that they, they're going to um, expand about the size of a walnut so that they can make more hormones to help you accommodate your stress. Fight or flight. Okay. Now, if that keeps up long enough, they just go, you know, I'm really tired of this. I can't do this anymore. I know you're only 40, but we're going to give it up. We're going to shrink. So consequently, they end up about the size of a pea. Now, can that be fixed? Yeah, but it takes a lot more work when they get down to this size than when you're in this space. They should get a little larger because they need to put out more hormones to help you get through your stress. But then you'll have a healing level too where they should go back to a fairly normal size again. The organ and system of the body is affected by the adrenal glands. So glucose, the liver, the pituitary, the hypothalamus, many areas of, of the body are affected by our adrenals. Changes in carbohydrate, protein, and fat metabolism. You can see why somebody who goes through this adrenal fatigue can also become very fatigued all the way around, even in Chinese medicine, they just can't, they can't pull back out of an illness. They get sick often. They're, they have a low-grade thing going on. They're just kind of always dragging. And in our medicine, that's, that just goes hand in hand with the Western part of it, too. So, what can we do about that? My father used to say, God bless us, like, what's the beauty? Be? And my mother would say, oh, you just have the best attitude. She would always get upset about a lot of the things. He'd say, hey, what's the beauty? Be? If I'm here tomorrow, I'm here tomorrow. I'm grateful. If I'm not, hey, to be. But he lived that. But he was one of those amazing people that just said, that's it. So if we can strive to do that. The other thing is to just decide what we can simplify in our lives. What can you get rid of today that will simplify your life?